All right, we are live. Uh, what I'm going to do uh, for this master class, I'm going to go through the process. And if anyone has any specific questions, uh, I will read them from the chat later on. And if I can answer them for you, I absolutely will. Uh, I can see it looks like the service is not doing well, and I do not know why that is. It's bouncing back and forth right now. So hopefully uh, you're getting everything on the feed. And so today what I want to talk about is really finding your clarity, your focus, and your success. And on my journey, I've seen this work for me as a professional athlete, and I'm seeing it work for me as an entrepreneur as well. So I'm excited to share these uh, strategies with you to help you move forward on your journey. And one thing that I have learned is everybody could use a little bit of help along the way. In fact, uh, the highest experts tend to get the most help along their journey because they know they have blind spots just like everybody else does. So if this does help you on your journey, please uh, share it, like it, comment. Uh, let me know how you're doing and, and let me know if this resonates with you in any way. And so in the beginning, what I, what I want to talk about is when we are clear on what we want and what we desire, things get a lot easier a lot sooner. And so the first strategy that's really, really big on the list is figuring out what your North Star is. You know what your North Star is, because when you know what your North Star is, you can start moving in the direction towards that thing. And you might not have the perfect plan. You might not have the perfect strategy, but you know what you want. Knowing what you want and working backwards from what you want tends to work a little bit easier than having no idea what you're going after. And one thing that I've learned along the way is we tend to get clear on what we're really focusing on. And we are either focusing on some form of pain or some form of pleasure. So for instance, if someone has a heart attack, they start focusing on getting their heart better. If someone is overweight and they don't wanna be that thing anymore, they're focusing in on that and looking at the strategies to get them by. And so when you are developing your North Star, I think it's really important to know the why behind the why. And I say the why behind the why because we get all excited, right? We get excited on our journey and we figure out what it is that we want. And then we start going after that thing and then it gets difficult and we're like, I didn't want it that bad anyway. <laughs> so if you can, if you can get past the first why, you know, why am I doing this? Get past the first why and like, no, why am I really doing this? Because when you can figure out why you're really, really doing something, it makes those bumps a lot easier to, to deal with and overcome. And so really take the time to, to um, dissect that, you know, dissect where you are in your journey and dissect where you want to be and know why you want to be at that thing. And it kind of leads me to, to the second step, which is when you, it's important to know what you want. And it's also really important to know what you don't, you know, getting a list out and saying, what is it that I do want? I can't see you guys. And if anyone has any questions, please let me know. I'm going to talk to you about any questions that I can answer afterwards. Uh, right now, I'm just going through the strategies of getting forward on your journey. So thank you for that. Uh, so know what you want and know what you don't want. You know, make a list and really take the time to sit down and be intentional with the list that you're creating. You know, write down, I want this, 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 and I don't want this, 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 and this. The more we can understand ourselves, the easier our journey becomes. And what's interesting, I've seen this happen to a lot of people. They think people understand them because they, because we know who we are. We know what we want. We know what we desire. But we're not really intentional with doing our homework about ourselves. You know, we really don't take the time to do that. 
And when we are intentional about like, well, what do I want and why do I want it? And how can I explain that to people? When I can do that effectively, our journey becomes a lot easier. So your journey is going to become so much easier when you're really, really clear on what it is that you're looking for, what desire you're going after. And I'll use my my example. When I was a heavier set kid, my North Star was I wanted to look better. You know, there was nothing else other than that. It wasn't about health. It wasn't about I, I need to watch my kids. I had no kids. It wasn't even about being an athlete. It was I was tired of being overweight. I didn't like what I saw in the mirror and I wanted to change it. And so my North Star was I'm going to look better. I'm going to find a way to look better. And what's interesting, people say, well, I don't want to say this because it's vain or blah, blah, blah. It's whatever. Go after what you want. Because if you're not going after what you want, you're going to find a reason not to do it. So just be honest with yourself and ask yourself, what do you want and the why behind the why? And so the second thing, I didn't actually do this on my on this first part of my journey, but I did do this later on, on my fighter's journey. What do I want and what don't I want? What do I want and what don't I want? Um. So if I were to rewind and, and, and put that back onto, you know what? I'm not even going to do that. I'm going to go on my fighter's journey on this one because that's when I actually use that strategy. And using that strategy, I'll give a perfect example. I don't like running heels. I don't like certain conditioning exercises, but I do really like to win. Like winning's important to me. And so if winning is more important than conditioning, right? I don't like conditioning. I'm not sitting there like thinking to myself, oh man, I can't wait to condition. Like I can wait to condition. I like being in shape. Conditioning is another thing altogether. It's a completely different animal. Conditioning is when you're stretching yourself to get better. Being in shape just means you're maintaining two very different things. And so I was never a form of, I was never a fan of conditioning, but I knew conditioning was a necessity if I was going to win. And that's what, since winning was more, the most important thing to me, conditioning was going to be on my list. I was going to do the things that I needed to do. Now, if I were to say, I don't like conditioning and I'm okay with not winning, then my journey might have been different, but that wasn't my journey. So ask yourself, what do you want? What don't you want? And really get deep into that list and also recheck it from time to time. Check it every six months. Check it every year. Make sure you're staying on track with the reality that you want to create on your journey. And so the third one, it, it's it's so simple, but this is the most complex piece for people. And what it is, I, I really believe it's because they don't follow the first two steps first. The third step is taking an action just taking an action because an action will get you moving forward and just taking an action without having a plan or strategy can be very, very daunting and very, very scary. And people actually make their actions improperly. You know, if you're going to, if you're going to take an action, for instance, your North star, I'll give you an example, going back to the first one. If you know what you want, then go around people who have gotten that thing. Like that's where people overcomplicate things. I, I've seen this as a personal trainer myself is people make the, the journey so difficult for themselves. They beat the crap out of themselves, right? They'll be in the workout machine and destroying their bodies and they can barely walk and they can barely move. And they wonder why they keep starting back at square one. I say it's, It's better to do something for two years and get it right the first time than it is for 12 years and get it wrong every single time. And so we can step back and say to ourselves, okay, I know I need to take action, but am I taking the actions that I need to, to move myself forward on my journey? And in action, there's a lot of ways to go about it. You know, sometimes they tell you take massive action, burn the boats, complete commitment. And then there's also the take a small action. Uh, I heard this from Brian Tracy, inch by inch, it's a cinch, yard by yard, it's hard. And I will say, 
it depends where you're at on your journey. You know, what action do you need to take to move forward on your journey? And be honest with yourself. Because sometimes it can be a little bit difficult and people will say like, I need to take this massive action, even though I know attempting to take the massive action I will never take. So I'm going to sit on the sidelines thinking about the massive action that I got to take. You know, that person's better off taking a small action and just getting started. Now, the other, the reverse can also be true. I'm going to take a bunch of uh, small actions that don't move me forward, but it makes me feel busy. So I fit, I think I'm doing something because there's a difference between being busy and being effective. And ultimately, when we're going on our journey, we want to be as effective as possible. So this is going to take some soul searching and some real honesty and say, am I doing the things that I need to do to move forward on my journey? Am I moving Am I moving towards my North Star or am I just spinning in circles and pretending like I'm doing something and not getting any closer to the North Star that I set forth out to do? We're all guilty of doing these things and going through these processes. And that's why it's so important to have people who will help you stay accountable in your journey. Uh, I always say people tend not to be completely accountable to themselves in all areas. And that's okay. You know, that actually makes the journey fun because when we realize that support systems help us move forward, support systems help the process become easier, it's something we can search out for. You know, go search out for those support systems. And so hopefully this helps you move forward on your journey. Hopefully this gives you some guidance to do the things that you want to do. Because I know we all have big dreams, big goals, and big desires. And I will say I've been very fortunate and very lucky to, to capture my dreams. You know, it feels amazing to be, I call it dream catcher. You go catch your dreams, you know, and when you catch your dreams and you coach others to catch their dreams, it, it's an, it's very euphoric and it's kind of unexplainable, to be completely honest. I just, I love seeing people move forward and I love seeing myself move forward. I love to grow and I love seeing others grow because it's, it's cool and it's a heck of an experience. And there's not a greater drug than life. You know, I say there's not a greater drug than life. Go all out. And now another thing too, as I'm saying these three practices, so I'll say them one more time. The first is the North Star. The second, a list of what you want and what you don't want. And the third is take an action, big or small, in the direction that you're looking to, t to be in, an effective action, an effective action. Doing this correctly is huge right? Doing these and consistently. So do it correctly and do it consistently. And I really don't think consistency is boring for me because as I've gone on my journey, every day I wake up, I get an opportunity to live as passionately as I want to live. Like if I get to choose what I want to do and what I don't want to do, that's pretty cool. I think that's awesome. So every day you wake up, you get to choose what you're going to do. And what I've heard from several people is, I have to. Look, I'm just going to tell it straight. You don't have to do anything. Like, even a little bit. You don't have to do anything. Everything that you're doing has come from a set of opportunities and choices. And when you can sit back and go, well, what do I want in my life? Like, what is it that I do want, want in my life? Now, don't get me wrong, every action is going to have a consequence to it. Like a person could say, well, I don't have to work. Yeah, and the consequence is you won't get paid. And, well, you can go the entrepreneur route like me and add value to people's lives. I absolutely love doing that. And I'm, I'm happy with the journey that I've created. But there were bumps in the road, you know, and there will be more bumps in the road. That's part of the journey. They're going to be there regardless of what you do. So you might as well just do what you want, <laughs> do it in the way that you want to do it and help as many people along the way that you can. So that was my first masterclass. I appreciate you for uh, hopping on and commenting and supporting and liking and loving. And I'm going to read these. What's up, Gemma? What's up, Carol? Thank you for showing up. 
appreciate the support. And there's Facebook user. Unfortunately, for some reason, I can't read who's on Facebook. I can only read the YouTubers. But yeah. So no question. So I will say, oh, someone said it was too short. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for your feedback. I don't know what I should do to make it longer. Maybe I can tell a story uh, next time. And yeah, I'm always looking to move people forward along the journey. Yeah, it was only 15 minutes. I can be a person who is very straight to the point. That's... uh, Or is it Mama Misty? Might be. Yeah. So I will say I can be very straight to the point. Um, when, when I, when I speak on effectiveness is the most powerful thing a person can have. Look, I'll tell you, if you'd be surprised what you can do and what you can withstand and, and these three strategies, it's not as hard as we make it out to be. We make our game way harder than it has to be because it's all this stuff in here. Every single time it's always this stuff in here. And I will say I am a better mentor and a guide than I am a presenter. And I'm not going to say I don't ever present well. I'm going to I'm going to continue to get better at the presentation. I'm going to slow it down and make it easier for people along the way. I need to know what people are going through because it gives me something to shift through. And so I'm going to continue to to improve as a presenter. You know, I will say I'm going through my journey just as much as all of you are going through your journey along the way. And if there's anything we can control, anything, ups, downs, lefts, rights, the one thing we can control and always control is our attitude, how we show up to the world. And so when you're going after your North Star, when you're listing what you're looking to, what you want, what you don't want. And when you're taking the action, massive or small, whatever it needs to be, you get to control your attitude because there's going to be times you'll do all three of those things and it's not going to work. You'll be running towards your North Star and there's going to be one big obstacle right in your way, staring in your face. And then what do you do? Well, what I say is you run through it, you jump over it, you climb Climb over it, go around it, go under it, whatever you need to do. Believe in your journey. Have the attitude to know that you can become what you want to become. Have the belief. Ah, that's one piece that I actually missed. So when we're taking action, very, very crucial. What do you identify as? Who do you identify as? That is an absolute game changer for people. When a person identifies as being like, you know what? My bank account is where it needs to be. My health is where it needs to be. My relationships are where they need to be. Can you identify as that person? And when you identify as that person, are you actually taking the actions that person would take? You cannot BS yourself, but ask yourself the real question. Am I identifying as that person? And am I taking the actions that person would? That's going to make your journey a heck of a lot easier. Champions hang out with other champions. You cannot become a champion without hanging out with them. You cannot become a champion without training with them. You have to train with high-level individuals on your journey. If you are not working with high-level people, you will stay where you're at. Like, and, And that's just the truth. But if you want something, and if you want more on your journey, go around high-level people. Go around people who are going to push you outside of your comfort zone because that's where growth happens. You tend to say you have your, your breakthroughs when you have your breakdown. And the right coach is going to break you down a little bit in a healthy way, of course. It's not going to be anything that you can't handle. And uh, yeah, that's another thing. So if you feel... I could potentially be your coach. If I'm the person for you, reach out to me, a messenger. Uh, Join the Facebook group. 
I don't know how often I'm going to be having these master classes. The goal is at least once a month. Uh, I, I want to have a lot of fun with you guys, you know, and I want to provide value to you on your journey because I know there's special something special in every single one of you. But there's going to be some pressure. There's going to be some truth telling and there's going to be some let's make sure we don't procrastinate along the way because that's what gets us in trouble. Either we're procrastinating too much, we're slowing ourselves down too much, we're talking about it too much instead of taking the actions that we need to. And uh, that's not the game that I want to play. I want to play a big game and I want people who want to play a big game to play with me. So if I'm the guy, let's have some fun. If I'm not, I still got love for you. But go find the person who is your guy or girl. Go find that person who's going to stretch you and, and make you... Do the things that you need to do, because I know you all have a dream. I, all, I know you all want to go to certain places and do big things on your journey. So make sure you go do that. Don't lay don't lay in the sidelines and say, damn, I wish I should have, I should have, I could have. doesn't matter. Uh, it's today. What actions are you taking today on your journey to move you forward? So, yeah, I am good at telling it how it is, Gemma. That is the game that I play. <laughs> and yes, I could be your coach. I'll reach out because what I do do, uh, just how I talked about the second one, what do you want and what don't you want? So I always choose who I want to coach with. And I ask a set of questions and I want to make sure it's a good fit for both sides. You know, like I don't want to, if I'm not the guy for you, I'm not the guy for you. And if you're not the person for me, I'll let you know you're not the person for me. And that's okay. You know, we just figure out how it energetically works. But yeah, just reach out to me a messenger and we can figure out if it's a good fit, if it's not a good fit. And even if it's not a good fit, I'll point you to someone who it might be a good fit. You know, I'm always looking to help people move forward on their journey. That's what it comes down to. Because we're, we're here for a short time or a long time, depending how you look at it. And it's about going after your dream and having fun along the way. So thank you all for your support. Uh, love the feedback. As always, I'm always open to feedback. I'm open to criticism. I can always improve on my journey and I'm always looking to improve. I'm going to have ups, downs, lefts, rights, a little in between. But the one thing that you can be guaranteed is I'm going to show up with a good attitude. I, I believe 100% of the time, but it could be wrong. We'll see. We'll see if I ever freak out. Uh, so far, I've been really great on that one. So uh, appreciate you. You all have an amazing day. And I will talk to you later. Take care, everyone.